I've taped all these pieces of tape on this fan because I want there to be a variation in distance from this laser to the fan. I think you can see the laser dot on there as it spins. I'll plug this in in a second, but you can see how the laser is moving in and out, or the spot is moving in and out. The laser is also a detector. It detects the distance once every 0.75 milliseconds. So pretty fast, very, very accurate. It'll tell us um, exactly where that spot is once every 0.75 milliseconds. So I'm going to plug it in and get this fan started. <clears throat> and it's not supposed to move really fast, but it's supposed to move fast enough. And what I can do as it turns is I can change where the dot is relative to the center and that will determine or change the speed at which that spot is moving in and out. The idea being to mimic um, a shock absorber, like a bicycle shock absorber. Just how fast is it moving at its fastest and then what to do when it's moving slowly or not at all. Well, so I've got a program that I have created and the program is running now and it's actually responding to these changes in the, um, the position uh, of the laser dot. <coughs> and what I can do and what I can do is I can do all kinds of things related to um, how the device is responding to the speed and the location of that dot. And what this is saying is that um, there's a lot of surging going on and that makes sense because right now I have that on the toward the outside of the uh, of the uh, circumference of this fan and that's going to give us some really fast motion which is pretty fast for a shock absorber um, pretty close to I think about uh, five meters per second and the way this device handles that is it notices that there's some surging going on something more than just uh, kind of low frequency, low speed <clears throat> shock absorber oscillation, but rather more like a, uh, you know, like some really big rocks, fast motion, uh, maybe even, uh, you know, a bike coming over some sort of uh, uh, precipice and then landing fast. <clears throat> the idea is to catch these surges and to communicate to the to the pulsing mechanism that the coils now need to be interrupted so that any surging that's going on like you know like a, a bike dropping off of a, a couple of big rocks or onto a couple of big rocks uh, that the shock absorber needs to uh, start firing coils to oppose that so that's what's going on here it looks like it's working really well um, it's pretty fun to to get this all set up with this fan here um, I think the most interesting part about all this is how fast it works. Basically, I'm looping through this program once every 40 microseconds. So every 40 microseconds, it updates itself and sees what it needs to be doing next. And in this case, it's you know it's reading the laser sensor and deciding what to do. How about that? <clears throat> next up, the actual shock absorber building everything on over here. <clears throat> and you get a bunch of these things set up and um, it's all ready to go so I think within two days we won't be looking at a fan we'll be looking at a shock absorber